Hi, it's Yvonne from Just Imagine Journals in Australia. Today I'm working with the Fairy Daybook Kit from Studio 2080. I've used a repurposed file folder and you see detail with the ribbon and the lace, a simple seam bind enclosure and it's quite chunky but lots of fun. This is an image from um, Arthur Rackham and here's a, the daybook from the kit. I've put a book plate and a little fairy calendar both from the kit and I've included some invoice pages, original vintage invoice pages from 1948. And that slides in there, a little pocket opening up and here we have a traveller's notebook format uh, and this little tag. So a cluster and then some swing tags. And the idea that I incorporated was the fairies and the little animals are sort of hidden. You don't actually know they're there, but it's a magical world. So there's the fairy hidden behind all the other um, foliage. And here we have the seam binding ribbon, a little key because it's a key to a magical world. And these are all papers from the kit. I've used washi tape to strengthen them. And I've kept them um, fairly plain because the papers are so beautiful, but I have added some embellishments. This is a tag. And I've um, included some elements from the kit and some others also from my own stash. Beautiful detail in the papers and they print beautifully. And I've coupled them with some papers uh, that are quite plain so that you have plenty of writing space. Look at that beautiful double page spread. This is a vintage uh, crochet cotton that was my mother's. And this, again, another beautiful image from the kit, the same one I used on the cover and the fairy's calendar and another beautiful fairy image. They just pop in the pocket there. Also from the kit, some tickets, fairy tickets and this little envelope. Mushroom envelope, mushrooms and fairies go together and a little something to write on a little journaling card. I'll just put those aside. I won't put them back and that way we save some time. That was clipped on there, the back of the mushroom paper clip. So that's uh, an image from the kit and backed onto some card that I had. So that's my favourite page of this kit. And this is actually a page scanned from that day book. And it was a Melissa, one of the um, designers, Melissa and Sherry designed this, explained to me that it was a 1906 day book that a gentleman used uh, for a period of years, um, so it has lots of interesting detail in it. So it's nice that that's original details included. I've also included uh, some ledger paper to write on. And this is fun. I found out that uh, it's International Fairy Day on June the 24th, so I have a diary page for June the 24th, which is pretty important in fairy world. So I'll just pop those back. And this. Now we come, it's a little bit like a mini lap book really, this. Now, this is a, um, just a little piece of ephemera, but what I liked here is I have a slide and I'm going to take that off. So now we have this and it can flip out. So you've actually got three journaling spots there, but I like the idea that it's hidden with the, the same sort of theme as the invisible fairies. And then here, this is a beautiful page from the kit and I've printed it out onto um, textured cardstock and it has a real old world feel and some old, um, the colour inside also. And on the back, there's the almanac of 17, 
50, I think it is, or it might be 1730, um, all the about the tides, the moon's uh, phases and so on. So that's that was included in the kit, which is beautiful. So that would go back on there, but for the moment I'll just pop that aside. And here I have another poppet. And this uh, fair, beautiful fairy tag was gifted to me by Jenny, who actually inspired this whole journal because she had gifted me one in the same format for my birthday. So that pops back in there and it uh, has the same paper on the back. That's some of my scrapbooking paper. And this is from the kit, beautiful uh, little image. And I've taken some other papers from the kit and some in, uh, invoice paper, digital, and included that. And there's that vintage crochet cotton again. So just a tiny book, which I thought fitted in with the tiny fairies idea. So then this opens up and uh, this beautiful peacock image is from the kit and I've made a belly band. And so here we have the second uh, little traveller's notebook format uh, insert or, or journal. And look at these stunning in images. I just love, love this. And then here, this is fun. I put some leaves here, but they're adhered at the bottom, but there's enough space for movement. So I've been able to fit this uh, ticket in here, which is from the kit. And then with that same theme, who's hiding behind here? A little fairy. So... <clears throat> And this is a beautiful image as well, a vintage image of a, a girl in the forest and she discovers some fairies sleeping under the toadstools. I love how this is included as well on the papers. And, uh, special things to keep. Beautiful image, that one. Similar to the what I've made this from. And these are all kit papers as well. They've, except for those um, more creamy, um, lacy ones, all the pages are from the kit. This is my favourite um, envelope, isn't that so elegant? And that just opens up, so I've left it open because you can use it as an envelope if you want to close it up, but it could also be for journaling. And I've made this tag, and I've used a 3D embossing folder, and then I've gilded it with blue and gold and uh, some sort of fibres, so just the idea of movement in the forest and the wind through the trees. And that stenciling on the back is in weathered wood distress ink, um, again with the ledger paper, so you can journal there as well. I'll just pop that aside rather than fiddle with it now. And there's a, um, another little journaling card, again from the kit. Now this, I thought, because of the idea of the, the, the fairies being so delicate, I've printed this onto tracing paper. So it has a, a quite a beautiful translucent sort of look. And then here is the same image expanded and you can see the difference. So I, I liked that uh, contrast. And because, again, with that ethereal look um, and that lightness, I didn't want to use the crochet cotton, so here I've used a double um, layer of um, dental floss, wax dental floss, which worked very well. And on the spine, you can see uh, that there, but uh, what I've done is run the Distress Ink over it so that it takes away the white <coughs> and blends in a bit more. Excuse my throat there and here a little pocket and again that idea of layers um, movement in the forest all from the kit these that one this one that one and these are a couple of little things that I had which I thought fitted it the theme beautiful old worldy um, music from the kit because you have the sounds of the forest, so that fitted in beautifully as well, I thought. Again, the washi tape strengthening the, each page and also adds um, an interest, element of interest. So here again, this idea of layers. So we have a mushroom, a leaf, 
And with the leaf, I thought what you could do would be to, um, the work kit comes with some words. So you could put words there or your own words or even just a little journaling spot. I've used some of the words in the kit. And there's the fairy hiding there, unseen to people who walk through the forest. And this little tag says, oh, not a tag, I've, made, I've pasted it onto the um, page, and it says, fairies are invisible and inaudible, like angels, but their magic sparkles in nature. And that's sort of the theme I was going for throughout the journal. Beautiful fairy image. Lots of journaling space in this journal. Kept it quite open so that you can um, have plenty of spaces to write. Look at that, another one. Beautiful. And of course the blues. I'm always drawn to blues, so the blues of the peacock. Now we come to the this part of the, uh, the final part. And this is an interactive element. So we've got the little calendar tab for the journal for, for the uh, fairy day book and then this opens out and there's all sorts of little elements from the kit little cards beautiful poems uh, fairies dream and there's some sea fairies and the water lily element here I've, I've stamped an image of a fairy house and I had this mushroom one and this was a music cover I found, a vintage one, Grow Little Mushroom Grow, so I thought that fitted in. And this is another one from the kit, another little poem. And some more images, these two from the kit. A little poem. And that was a little one that I had, little blue flowers. And as you can see, they're all backed with them. Um, papers. So then that does up again, which I won't do now. And here's another little fun interactive element. It says, nothing can be truer than fairy wisdom. It is as true as sunbeams. And then when you open it out, it's like this. And I actually got this idea from a pop-up book that I um, had, a children's pop-up book. And this had actually come loose, which made me look at it, and I thought, oh, that'd be lovely. So I've um, just copied that template and used it there. I think pop-up books actually often have uh, interesting interactive elements that we can use. So I'm just popping all this back in here now, but I'll put it back together properly later. And then, of course, it just closes up has um, a shimmer card on the front and the back and this lovely photo plate. And uh, this journal will be available for sale if you're interested. I'll list all the details below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and I'd love you to hit the like button and I really very much appreciate you taking the time to watch. So um, if you're interested in this journal, if you look below, all the details will be there. Thank you so much. Bye for now.